Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of City Skylines, after much debate and thinking about it, I am going to start a new game, I'm sure a lot of you are very happy to hear that, I know I was happy to decide it. Um, we're going to be playing on a different map because the same map is boring and I think I've decided on Lagoon Shore after poking around some of the maps before, this one looks like a lot of fun. Uh oh. So let's do it. Now, we won't be going through a step-by-step -step process on how to play the game. If you want to see that, uh, I would suggest watching the first few episodes of my last series. Uh, I, though the later episodes, I got a little disorganized with the city. I do think the first couple episodes are incredibly informative. And we'll kind of maintain that. Uh, we're going to do what I always do. Where I'm just going to click and just make a little nub in here. And then I will just demolish this so I can have all the, all the other lo roads unlocked. Because I think that's a stupid little... Uh, mechanic that the game has now if we take a look at our real estate that we have to work with we've got some interesting areas to expand later on we've got a mountainside over there which I'm tempted to go to at some point we've got a beach like lagoon area over here lots of interesting looking areas up north uh, and all kinds of good stuff to kind of contemplate uh, but we'll worry about that afterward we are going to try and basically my biggest problem last time was dealing with traffic and I'm going to try my best to kind of fix that issue. We're going to start by building one ways going right in because these roads are automatically one ways already. So I'm going to go ahead and build a couple of one ways. We'll go up to about here and then I could go outward and kind of uh, do it like so and just connect. Uh, is it here? Yeah, we could just go ahead and do it like that. Just get a couple of one ways in and out of the city. I'm not going to build around the city though. Uh, or I'm not going to build the city around these entrances and exits. I think it's a terrible decision that I uh, did not really... I wasn't smart enough to, to, to make the first time around. Uh, we don't have a lot of real estate to be building here in the first place. Um, let's actually go back a little bit. And uh, one technique I was talking to Quill and, and uh, Northern Line a little bit about is the power of the rotary and that's something I'm gonna actually mess with a little bit here I know this is very similar because I was watching Ryan's video actually earlier before I did it because I was curious what he did um, and this is a little similar to the setup but I promise we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently than he did uh, not because he did it poorly or anything but because I don't want to build the same looking city that he did obviously we have to keep an eye on our cash as well it's important um, so let's see where do I want to go I'm gonna take this now it doesn't matter too much if this is a one-way as well. I know one-ways are bad and all that good stuff, but this right here leading out of the city isn't that big of a deal if it's a one-way right off the bat. I kind of want it to be straight on. So that's a one way. So this one way leads out of the city. So this is an out way. And then we can like branch off of this as well. We might even drop another rotary here. To be honest with you. A couple rotaries. Kind of attached to one another. How much does a rotary cost? 2,000? Let's do it. Let's go crazy. Let's get some rotaries down. And now we can start going off on these uh, little four way roads that are not necessarily... Uh, that expensive. So where do we want our industry? I think our industry is going to be off to this side over here. Um, residential, maybe near this little lake. Yeah, this lake. Or up this way, maybe. We could actually do some residential up this way. And then we could do some commercial over here. And then we could actually go ahead and stretch this out over here for uh, more residential or commercial. And let's start zoning things out. Actually, let's get let's get our basic power and all that stuff up and running that we need. Uh, this is going to be industrial. <clears throat> let's go ahead and put our power over here. We'll go ahead and put two for now. We'll go ahead and get our water supply up and running. Now we have... We can draw raw water out of this, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, but I think I'm going to draw water out of here. And put the sewer over here uh, we are gonna need to connect the power to both of these we're gonna be having a few power line situations the way we draw our power lines out for a bit but it's not gonna be a huge deal let's go ahead and just draw that to there that to there how are we looking everything's still going okay as far as our uh, other things are going um money is what I was talking about there by the way I know I didn't make any sense for a little bit 
I do want the water connected. Okay, down this way. We're getting a basic setup early on. And I don't I I might zone that in the future, but for now, I'm not going to. I don't think I'll ever end up zoning it. Okay. How are we looking? $13,000 for a very basic early setup. That's totally okay. Let's start doing a little bit of zoning here and here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want to keep it all zoned up, baby. There we go. Now, industrial, I think, is going to be over here. So that's what we'll do. We'll actually even do, like, bigger roads leading out over to this way. Industrial and all that. I'm going to try and keep a lot of the traffic off the main street here. God, I can't right-click. That's, that's really bad. A lot of traffic management, man. That's what I'm working on. Trying desperately. Uh, and then commercial zones we can actually have over here for now. All right. In in fact, let me uh let me dezone really quickly like this right here, so nothing builds up over here. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. We will drag some power lines from here to here, and I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling okay about the whole situation. Everybody's gonna start moving in. Uh, to Rockwood, I forgot to name the city. I kind of got excited and just jumped in. My fault. But that's alright. That's fine. So far, so good. Welcome home, everybody. Now, the question is, how's traffic going to look? Because this is the entrance. They can hit the round. Ooh, they can't leave, I just realized. So let's go ahead and give them the exit here. Um, we'll go ahead and stretch this out a little bit. What? Why is this different looking? I don't want it like that. Let's get rid of this. I think I had just built a too big of a road. There we go. So everybody has their exit. They can hit this roundabout, go around, and leave if they so choose. And hopefully that'll help out a little bit with how things are going to go. Keep an eye on the money. I know we're plummeting, but as people move in, we'll end up making a little bit more money. I'm going to try and keep all the roundabouts dezoned as well. I think it's it's uh, unnecessary. I don't think we need it. Keep that zoned up. Beautiful. Yes, I know I can build elevated roads. It's a nice little hillside over here. It's looking fantastic. We're going to have to do a lot of this power line management early on. It'll It'll take care of itself over time. Still needing some more industrial, it looks like. And I might go ahead and give them what they want. Alright, let's... Do this. And I will be paying attention to comments more so this time around. Because, hey, you guys actually have the game now? I have no money for roads. But we are starting to make money, which is okay. Which is good by me. Yes, yes, I know. People are moving in. It's great. Hello. Welcome home, everybody. Welcome to your humble abode. Hope you're super excited to be moving into uh, Methopolis 2.0. I'm sure it's excellent, you know. Uh, I've heard, I hope you've heard great things about it. I know I have, and I live here. Or, I, I don't live here. I own the place. I don't live here. Don't be stupid. Why would I want to live here? Do you know what the mayor of this town did the last town he lived in? Don't pay any heed to it. I'm just saying. It might, might do you well to pay attention to that stuff. We could even maybe do a little bit more... Like uh, residential over here. Give them a little bit more to play with. I think mixing and matching the zones early on is okay. Yes, everybody. Do your roundabouts, Sikis. I think it's great. I think two roundabouts is good. Because they can off go off and do what they need to do. I think doing one ways is only good for very particular things. And doing it early on is not a good thing. So we're in the positives. We didn't hit the negatives. That's awesome. I do have hopefully some people moving in soon. I did zone out some new areas. I hope they move in. They want more residential. I gave them more residential. Is there so all right, somebody's moving in now, thank goodness. And uh I might actually drag up and like build road all the way around this area. 
should I uh, find the need to do so. But I think, you know, keeping this area free is a smart early decision. And hopefully that'll end up paying out for me. Just kind of connect to those. Get the power flowing, the water flowing. Oh, they got trees in their backyard and everything. Do they have, like, different house types depending on where or what map you're building on? Because this looks like, like a beach house is some of these, which is interesting. Mayor is starting to negotiate with local housing developers. I'm just, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Do not lump me in in, in false rumors, friends. I don't know what you're talking about. We can go down to here. I noticed the commercial demand is significantly lower than it usually is. Co demand for commercial is not nearly ever as high as the demand for, like, industrial. So much so that I could probably just drag this out and be totally okay with it. Have these guys living in here. We'll even drop some more there. Not that they need it, but we'll do it. They have that. The power lines we they might need, so... Oh, they've got power. They're good. They're already at 460. Little Hamlet and all the basics, which is great. We got some uh, wonderful gifts uh, of the basic needs that the people are going to need. So we'll, we'll start building those right away. I'm, I'm so tempted to build big roads, but I'm not going to. Now, do I want I think I will. I think I'll expand out to like here. And I'll do the same over here. Sorry, you're already going to get demolished little home this is a six laner I didn't mean to do a six laner but that's okay we'll leave it for now wanted to do a two laner expand out this way a bit more keep on building outward like that and I, I think gridding is gonna be important but I want to just build out a little bit so let's get that done and you know what we're just gonna do two lane okay cool so let's start getting all the basics that oh, we we already we killed all of our basics. Um, yeah, I can do I can do garbage over here, no problem. Let's go ahead and at least drop the garbage down. Take care of that. Keeping it over in this side of the uh, the city seems like a smart decision. Good. Maybe painting out a little bit more industrial. For people who need it. We can even paint out a little bit more residential over here now, which is awesome. And I'll eventually make more. Um, keeping a heavy eye on traffic. Things are totally okay. Rotary's already getting a little bit bananas. Once I have districts, though, I'll take care of that. I don't know. Why is it a little bit hefty in this area? Just because industrial's over here? It might be. We'll see. I'll be, like I said, I'll be paying close attention to a lot of what you guys are saying in the, uh, in the comment section. No question about that. Just be nice about it and I'll listen. <laughs> That's how it goes. All you gotta do is be nice, and I'll listen in on what you guys are saying. Okay. I don't know. I'm feeling confident, but I'm still nervous. Hmm. What is this? Big bite, huh? Where's Mathis' little restaurant? Mathis needs a restaurant. So I'm modding some Mathis buildings. Yeah, we're already running out of power. All right, that's okay. So that's six or seven. We need not many. Do that. That should give us more power. Pretty much no problem. Bam. Right in the green. Early windmills are fantastic. Probably stick with windmills for the most part. Less uh, need for deliveries as well. If I stick with windmills, I won't have to have anybody to bring coal over. So we'll see if we can do that. It'll help. I think. I think it'll help. We'll see. I hope it will help. Kind of go out this way. 
think, yeah, I think we'll go out like this way. Grid out a little bit. Maybe one way. I don't know when one ways are good and when they're not. That's my biggest issue. When are one ways worth it? I need more money. I could take a loan. I think I might. Take a very basic loan. Some basic health care up and running. And a basic uh, elementary school. Doesn't really f reach too far. If I do it over here, it's better. It's better, but it's not great. It only reaches... Why does it only reach down this way? This one way leads up. But they, oh, because they can't get on the one way. If I do it, no, I don't want to do it there, though. We'll do it right there. Sorry. Going to get demolished a little bit there. Hey, and the need for commercial has started to, has started to rise a bit, which is awesome. I like how there's a need for commercial, but there's still places that have no workers. Kind of silly. Actually, let's just go all the way down. There's no need for not to knock all the way down. And more residential as well, which we will just kind of finish off this area with. And we're good. All right, little uh, Mythopolis 2.0 is feeling a little bit more comfortable. Might want to get rid of this little last part right here, but... You need more workers. I just built a bunch of houses. Come on. People just need to move in. You'll be good. How's our power situation? Got to keep a pretty heavy eye on that. Yeah, already running low. Can't really build another one for a little while. Have to keep an eye on the power situation. Oh, hey, already. We got some more money. Beautiful. Unlocked a bunch of other things. Oop, fireworks exploding. More power. Yeah, we'll keep on doing this. I will... Yeah, I'll put two down. And we can demolish this. And then... Do, is this even... Oh, yeah. It's leading to the sewage thing. We need power there. So we'll go ahead and do that. So it has it. And it'll be fine. Power, go! Run down the line there. I already have an abandoned building. Weird. We'll get rid of it. Don't want to lower that land value any further than I have to. And then, let's see. Let's do... Kind of curving it around. Yeah, we could do it like... Well, we don't have to go any further. I just kind of want to, I want to, you know, I do want to do a little bit more freeform designing here. In the game. Now, the question is, is this where I start doing, oh, I have no fire department. Ha <laughs> ha, shit. I don't have enough money for a fire department either. I've been dropping too many, too many roads. I just unlocked it and now fire's like, oh, hey, you have a fire department? Time to start burning things down. Let's do it here. It's going to be a little bit late. I don't think they'll be able to get to the fire, but hey, there's a... I don't know where it's going. Oh, it's got a loop all the way around. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's why I want to do, you know, gridding areas up and stuff. And yeah, I know I could set districts. We'll take care of that here in a minute. Demolish that. Building is leveled up. I appreciate that. See, that's why six lane roads are good, I guess, because I think they can just cut straight across should they want it. Just doing a little bit of upgrading. At the very least, this will allow the fire department out and he can cut across a little bit easier there. All right, cool. All right, I'm not sure if I like the beginning. 
because I'm a little bit worried about traffic, but this is where I'm going to stop for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, a bit of a slower start, but it's because I'm really being nervous about my planning. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. If you are, come back next time for some more City Skylines. And consider dropping a like. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.